People also use this spot to shoot their OnlyFans pictures. <laughs> this girl right here is braving the cold in a bath, nothing but a bathing suit to take photographs. She is crazy. Wim Hof. What? Wim Hof would be proud? Oh, she's swimming. Oh, she went completely under. See, do it for the OnlyFans. Oh, they take f -pos too. Wow, that's advanced. We're here at the then campground no registration. Excuse. Campground fees, 15 bucks per person if you're an adult. So we're gonna register here, grab our campsite, and then we're gonna head out and uh, tackle the Hooker Valley. But where the hell do we even camp? <laughs> One night, 30 bucks for two adults. So oh, maybe I should hold that size first. There's Sir Ed Hillary Whoa. and Mount Cook. Ed Hillary. He insisted that it be Mount Cook that appears with him, not Everest. Aww. And look, it's not a True Canadian native. $5 bill. It's a New Zealand $10 bill. <laughs> we are registered. Make sure this guy is visible. Oh, what happens if I flip it over? All right, gearing up for a three hour hike the hike of my favoritely named track, Hooker Valley, that leads to the Hooker Lake, which leads to the Hooker Glacier. All of this is north of Pukaki Lake. Sorry, Lake Pukaki. What? We're talking about hookers and you're talking about throwing your dirty panty at me? You're talking about what? Dirty hookers on the Hooker Valley and you said you're gonna throw a dirty panty at me. You hear catch? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what kind of panty weighs this much? <laughs> Those are bloomers. Those aren't panty. <laughs> or was it your, uh... The sound you made! Oh! Oh! <laughs> you sure that wasn't your Spanx? <laughs> I was just gonna examine the merchandise of the Hooker Valley. Don't muck around with that New Zealand sun. I already got burnt yesterday at the springs. Look at my nose, my nose is shiny and red. All right, let's go two girls. Can't come. She's gonna stay here. This is our camping spot for the night. See, I wasn't lying. There is a valley called Hooker Valley. Right now we are at the end of springtime, beginning of summer. So the avalanche danger is low throughout. If there was an avalanche and you had to pull me out of a crevasse, can you actually do it? No, I call for help. Hooker Valley track is considered an easy walk. It's uh, relatively level ground, there's not much uphill, so you don't have to worry so much about really breaking a sweat. And the most convenient part about this track is that it is literally on the doorstep of the White Horse Hill campsite. So you could pitch your tent, park your camper van there, and the start of the track is literally right there. So once you're done the track, you know, once you head back, you're at the campsite right away. Wow, that was scary. Wow, we actually caught an avalanche. Did you see it falling? Yeah, yeah, it's right there. Well, it stopped now. We're far enough that we'll be okay. There's not enough snow, I don't think. Nah. Yeah, I hope the GoPro mi GoPro microphone picked that up. The microphone's pretty crap. There. But... Oh! But you don't hear anything. Yeah, you see it falling down though. That glacier is just constantly changing. It's just, it's slowly melting, it's falling apart. A hundred years ago, you used to be able to walk on the glacier back where Mueller Lake was. A hundred years ago, you could walk on that. Now it's completely 
liquefied. If you just sit here and listen, you could hear every couple of seconds or every couple of minutes, you could hear something rumbling in the distance. That's the sound of the glacier falling apart. This is the second swing bridge. It's a longer one and uh, ready to do this. He who is scared of heights. So once you pass the second swing bridge, that's the first time you catch a glimpse of that beautiful, monstrous beast, Aoraki, aka Mount Cook, in his full glory. And we were extremely lucky today because it was overcast and things cleared up because look at that, we could see the peak, it's right in front of us. Some art project, university project. <laughs> when you've got yourself a tiny bladder, those toilets are always a breath of fresh air. Uh, this looks like an oil drum slash trash bin. What does this do? Huh? Oh. Oh, did I break it? Oh, here. It's like a... It's a directional thing, I think. There's names here. Mount Sefton, what's this thing? That there is the third swing bridge, which can only mean one thing. We're almost at Hooker Lake. This is the Upper Hooker Suspension Bridge. 20 people max. That's a moraine. You see that? No, I don't know. That's a moraine. I don't know. That right there, that's a moraine. I don't that know one. if that's right. Huh? I don't know if that's right. That's a moraine. Uh-huh. That's a moraine. Let's look at the free ones. Is your phone still on uh, airplane mode? Uh, no, it never was. And my Bluetooth is on. It's a good way to kill the battery. These rocks are big. They had to like chop it in the middle so that we could pass through it. All right, we are just, we are an hour, 36 minutes into the hike, and just five minutes away from the turnaround point, which is Hooker Lake. Here we are, hour, hour 40 later, Moraine, not Moraine Lake, we're not in Canada, Hooker Lake, filled with hookers. Oh yeah. Where are the hookers? They're all seated at the lunch tables. We can't sit with them. Look at that, there's still glaciers down there. Wow. We're gonna head down. 
to where she is so that we could take equally awesome photos of Hooker Lake. All of this glacial debris broken up as we look down up towards Mount Cook, Auraki, the sky piercer. Sky piercer. try to touch some of that ice, that glacier. I think I could reach this one. There you go. Little icy treat. Got on. You wanna hold it? Here you go, my gift to you. Glacier from uh, Hooker Lake. <laughs> so how does it feel? Like I'm ice. guessing cold. <laughs> yeah, but look, it feels like a, like a piece of Lego, you know? It's just been fitted together. Look, it's Can we bring that back to Canada? You hear that, Ling? What? I heard a crack from one of the glaciers up there. It was like a. <coughs> so it was about six kilometers hiking from the uh, White Horse campsite. I think it was called that. I haven't actually seen pictures of this lake prior to doing the hike, so I had no expectations whatsoever. I didn't think we'd see actual chunks of glacier in the water. I think we're gonna have a little rest here and then we're gonna head back to our campsite to camp for the night. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next vlog. Bye! Do you want to hit the camera to, like, close it? Bye, guys!